the punishment range for that is a minimum of two years. One of the questions that I get quite often they're driving on the roadway and they're stopped, they're alleged to be intoxicated, and they have a child. Hi, I'm criminal defense attorney Tim Powers, and we're talking about the classification of crimes in Texas, and this video talks about felony offenses in the state of Texas. The difference between misdemeanors and felonies is great. With felonies, you might lose your ability to have a passport, lose your ability to vote, at least for 10 years, lose your ability to hold a firearm forever, and lose a number of civil rights. Felonies in Texas fall into five categories. The lowest is what's called a state jail felony. And those are typically non-violent offenses in which if someone is convicted and has to serve time, they serve time in a state jail facility, typically for non-violent offenders. Offenses in that category are unlawful use of a motor vehicle, burglary of a motor vehicle with a prior conviction, possession of a controlled substance less than a gram, forgery of a financial instrument, credit card abuse, or debit card abuse. The next highest level is what's called a third degree felony. Third degree felony has a punishment range of a minimum of two, a maximum of 10 years in prison and a fine not to exceed $10,000. For any felony offense except a state jail felony, if someone is placed into custody, they are normally placed into the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division. That is a prison or penitentiary. Third degree felony could be a possession of controlled substance between one and four grams. It could be a number of other offenses, such as intoxication assault. Second degree felony is a punishment range of a minimum of two and a maximum of 20 years and a fine not to exceed $10,000. That would be possession of a controlled substance between four and 200 grams, intoxication manslaughter, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Those offenses are very, very serious. Probation is not always guaranteed and something that you wanna get very, very aggressive with in your defense and be proactive. And as soon as you're under investigation or under arrest, definitely contact the attorney of your choice. Highest grade offense that is not capital offense is called a first degree felony. A first degree felony has a punishment range of a minimum of five and a maximum of 99 years or life in the penitentiary and a fine not to exceed $10,000. Examples of a first degree felony could be murder, aggravated sexual assault, obviously very, very serious crimes. If you are charged with a first degree felony, definitely call an attorney immediately when you're under investigation or after you've been arrested. You could potentially serve the rest of your life in prison. The highest grade felony offense is what's called a capital offense. And those are reserved for capital murder. The punishment range is either the death penalty or life in prison with no parole. Those offenses in Denton and Collin County and in most places in the country are few and far between, fortunately. But all felony offenses are extremely serious. And if you are under investigation or have been arrested for a felony offense, call the aggressive criminal offense team at the law offices of Tim Powers. 940-483-8000 in Denton, 972-724-4820 in McKinney. TimPowers.com, the attorney that fights for you.